Cooks through diary. I'm cooked. Food, music, fun. What am I still doing here? Let's go. In basements and barrel rooms, wine has been crafted by experts and home enthusiasts for ages. It's old world and new world. Red, white and new. I believe with my whole soul that wine is best shared on the vineyard in the barrel room with the winemaker. The, this rose bush is planted on every end of, of the row. Yeah. Is there a significant reason? I talked to the Raffaldini family and they said in Italy, you know, it's hundreds of years ago, yes. the little wagons was pulled by horses. Okay. And then they'd go out one row and turn around and go back in the other row. Well, the horse got to where it would turn in, you know, sharp turns and it was tearing up the grapes and tearing up the wagon, so they planted the rose bushes. <laughs> to prick the horse and that made it make a wider turn and said that's that's traditionally how it got started. This is really interesting. You can totally uh, see the difference <gasps> in like... Yes, look at just this. The texture is more rough. Look more how, sticker, look how yeah. Yeah, it's this more smooth is. like... This is uh, the Sangiovese and this is a Nabiolo. Nabiolo yeah. is there, deeper. That's a little... Uh, yellow. Yellow, yeah. Oh, this is fabulous. And then you get the subtle effect of the wood. You get that coffee, chocolatey kind of character, especially on the taste. Yeah. I can, I can get the wood. With the chocolate, I'll have to try again. <laughs> <laughs> In these fast-paced times, our viewers want to cut through all the flashy labels and the marketing campaigns to find that perfect bottle of wine to accompany their lifestyle. A quick and easy meal to pair with their choices and unique destinations for their next long weekend or holiday getaway. Let me tell you about my Western Australian expedition. The surf was up long before wine made a splash in Margaret River. First, I decided to take up surfing. What an awesome way to start my visit in Margaret River. While I was riding the waves, my knees paid the price. That did not slow me down at all. I went to see some historical destinations, including climbing the Luan Lighthouse and spelunking in the Jewel Caves. Rounding out my regional excursion is swimming with dolphins in the wild, a kangaroo safari, yoga on the beach, horseback riding, and hanging on the Indian Ocean with a few new friends. What would you say is the most favourite item on your menu? Easily a grilled polenta um, vegetarian breakfast. Poached eggs, avocado, grilled oh. asparagus and some uh, Persian feta. And that's for breakfast? That's for breakfast. It's oh, delicious. Good. Can I have wine with that? No problem. You can have wine <laughs> with anything. Margaret River. Yeah, <laughs> the wine industry has revolutionised the face of Margaret River area. The excellence of this wine has been recognised worldwide and more and more tourists have been attracted by vineyards with their elaborate tastings. Margaret River wine region is truly one of the great holiday destinations of the world. The four seasons are gently defined in the soulful corner of Western Australia. I love these people who bring life to wine and wine to our lives. You learn wine sense just by being around them. Like light before heavy or dry before sweet, simple stuff that helps the wine times roll. So tell me about the genie in this glass. What do I expect in the nose, and, and what, what is it? You know, the tenants and the and the, and the finish. Well, the genie is um, sometimes is a little more elusive to describe than others. Um, usually, after my second glass, I get more descriptive on it. Give this man my wine. <laughs> I appreciate my life in wine and share it well with every opportunity that appears. I have one big love for wine and an unquenchable knowledge for thirst. With so many choices, really, who's got the time? I bring the whole wine world to you. A couple of key ingredients to a fabulous wine experience are good grapes and good groceries. Add my toasted twist and memories are made. It's time to take a tasty trip with a toasted hostess. Visit the whole wine world, vineyard and vintage. The people, the places, the pairing of wine and food. I sat down for an awesome Saldana Bay oyster and sparkling rosé, as you can only find on Bayerskloof. Okay, so now, what, what is all this? 
This is an oyster. Jackie, yep. can you explain to us what's it? I'm using marmalade. Marmalade? Some onion and, and capsicum marmalade that I made. Mm -hmm. Some fresh lemon zest mm -hmm. and some fresh fennel. The thing is, if you add too much lemon juice, because the sparkling wine is very acidic, mm -hmm. um, the lemon juice just brings it out more. So I'm using the lemon zest just to get the lemon flavor and not the acidity of the lemon. The lemon, okay. Yes. All right. And then with that, I made a capsicum and shallot um, chutney, mm -hmm. which I'm going to use on it, which is a little bit sweet, but it brings out the flavor of the sparkling wine and it brings out the flavor of the oyster, so it doesn't overpower it. What is the characteristics I'm looking for in the sparkling wine and what is it complementing in the oyster? It's interesting. It's it's. Uh, our sparkling wine's got like raspberry and red berry, red cherry flavors in a certain sense. But sparkling in general goes very well with seafood. It cleans the palate in certain senses. The sparkling wine adds the raspberries, red berries. And that's what's so nice. You'll see the combination is excellent. And then what? Then you eat it. You eat the whole one like this. Take it. With like a fork? That. Yeah. This is lovely oyster. It's beautiful. Oh. It looks beautiful. Where did you get it this morning? Fresh. Mm. Was it a long drive all the way to South America? <laughs> you did very well. This is actually, oh my this is actually and now the combination. If you take this, and this, the slight red berries goes well with the marmalade, but also there's a fatness in the oyster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you need it to, you need like to a, clean the palate with like champagne. A, like a buttery. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, and yeah, I can feel. Can you, it takes it out. It takes it out. That's beautiful. And that's why you take champagne with oyster. I've never had an oyster. <laughs> <laughs> and I told everyone to what please bring me the smallest one so I could just swallow it quickly and say, this is really nice. It's it fantastic. I open my personal corkscrew diary to you. Every page, taste and place. Stem to salad to stem. Taste the journey, the food and the wine. Me, the toasted hostess. Tame the wild, conquer your hunger, quench your thirst right here on the pages of the Corkscrew Diary. And remember, life is too short. Always drink good wine.